So the first thing we will see is a word I'm not English mother speaker, but I have invented a kind of word to explain what is the world of olive oils in Spain. And it's the top quality olive, olive oil producer worldwide. What does it mean? It's very simple. Quality, because it's top quantity. These are numbers that we will see later on. And top quality is, again, there are numbers. It's not about how much I like it, how much I don't like it. It's all the results of the World International Olive Oil Contest we have. And by far, by far, in the last recent years, has been Spain always. So Spain is an olive tree forest. Right now we are here in Valladolid in a lovely, in a lovely and amazing uh, chef's school. But if we take a train, and we have that train going back to the south of Spain, getting deep in the south of Spain, we will see that after Madrid, we will begin to see olive trees. And once you get the mountains of Sierra Morena, after that, you will see olive trees, olive trees, olive trees, olive trees. You can be driving for 300, in some areas, for 300 kilometers in, in a square area, and you will see only olive trees in one side and the other side of the road. As you can see, if you drive close, you will see this. If you ride a little bit farther, you will see that. And at the end, you have all this stuff. But how many olive trees in Spain? We have them all counted one by one. And it's not because we love accounting. It's just because we get subsidies from the European Union. So we need to know how many olive trees do we have. It's almost 3 million olive trees, what we have in Spain. This is my personal opinion. I'm not sure about what I'm going to tell you, but I think that is the largest artificial forest in the world. So we have plenty of hectares. Talking about, so it's about three million hectares, divided in 50 provinces, Spain has uh, a little bit more, and it's about three, almost 300,000 million olive trees. It's a lot. Irrigated, we have a little amount. For you to have an idea, if we place all the olive trees we have in Spain, we, we, we separate, we have a, a division of five meters in between trunk and trunk, that would be 21 rounds to the world. So we have a lot of olive trees in Spain. What is the cultural extension? We are here in Valladolid, more or less, but this is, and this is getting larger. We even have olive trees, sorry, this, is, this is, has its own life, okay? <coughs> so we even having, once again, even in Galicia, okay, we have uh, two brands of olive, tree, of, of olive oil, and now this area, this area is beginning to have, and this area is beginning to have. It doesn't want to work, okay. So Spain is the one million ton country. It's the one and only country in the world that can arrive by itself that amount, in the long term also, okay. So what does it mean? Last year, not this harvest because the, the, the numbers are not still properly official available. Last year, in the last harvest, the one before, the harvest of the olives is at the same time as the oranges. It's a winter fruit. So you get it only on winter time. At the end of autumn, beginning of the winter. So we have, last year we have almost 1.8 million metric tons. Roughly, these numbers have to be confirmed, it was a little bit more, roughly, Spain was about, the rest of the world was about 3 million metric tons production. That means that Spain almost produced 60% of the worldwide production. So it's huge. You see the rest of the world, the rest of the world, and you see the production of Spain. So the difference is huge. But what does it mean? It's what I've told you before. If you go to a supermarket, no matter if it's in Australia, if it's in New Zealand, Japan, the States, Mexico, Peru, Brazil, Russia, anywhere in the world, statistically talking, six out of 10 bottles is, no matter what the label says, is olive oil from Spain, okay? So it's, uh, we are the largest producer by far. This is important too. We have an export quality control. People usually think that because you have a large quantity, you can control the quality. The minimum grade we have of quality is the low. The most stringent low we have in the world 
is the one in Europe. And apart from the one in Europe, in Spain, in Italy, in Greece, and Portugal, we have even more stringent law than the rest of the UA countries, European Union countries. And this is called the Soyure. It's the these are official inspector of the Spanish government. And they do testing. When we sell anything above 100 kilos of olive oil, there is, by system, in every kind of export, they control the quality of that export. We have to send samples of that lot, or they take the samples from the export itself, and we have to check that quality. That's very important for me to say. It's a formal point, but I mean, it's, we, it's, not, it's not only about the quality that they, the producer <coughs> they want to have. It's also the government that is commanding us okay, on that. Olive oil grades. This is very simple. In, uh, in English, we say olive oil. And we have all the grades of olive oil in that, in that uh, category. But we have two main categories. The first one are the virgin's olive oils. The second one are the olive oils. The virgin's olive oils are the juice of the fruit. And the other ones, they, are, they have the same fatty acid composition, but to make them edible, we need to refine them or to have a chemical and thermal, uh, and a thermal process to make them edible, okay? But the main ones are the extra virgin olive oils. Also, of course, the olive oil is, is very large production too. And the main thing is that the first one, the extra virgins, they are produced only by mechanical means. Like if you squeeze a fruit. I will explain you a little difference later on. The olive oil is a healthy source. And I will explain you why. This is, I mean, we all have assimilated that the olive oil is very healthy. It's the most healthy of the fats. But the main reason is to know why, as I said before, is the fatty use of a fruit. So all the good properties and antioxidants that a fruit has is also coming from the, from the, on the olive oil also together. But what's in it? We have the balanced composition of fatty acids. It's very rich in polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids. And it's also the natural antioxidants coming from the fruit itself. That the main ones are the vitamin, there are two types of vitamin, the hydrosolvents and the liposolvents, the ones that they, they, they are fatty ones. Those are the vitamin A and the vitamin E, they are very rich. We have also vitamin K in the olive oil. Let me, that's the theoretical, let me explain you roughly what it is also. So we have other animal and vegetal fats. The olive oil is tense about all of them. So we have the monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated fatty acids. And then on the extra virgin, we have the minor compounds, little portion of them that they are coming from the food. What they are, it's very simple, are the antioxidants and the polyphenols. But what they are, the juice benefits are the antioxidants and the polyphenols are the flavor. This is why the olive oil has a flavor, because it's coming from the polyphenols. And the polyphenols are very powerful natural antioxidants, are very healthy. Health benefits. Just talking about this, we could be hours, at least 45 minutes, talking about what are the benefits of olive oil. But just to name them, we have cardiovascular, antioxidant, diminish the cancer risk, some of them, the one related to the stomach. Arterial tension is a it decreases the, the tension of the arteries. Is, uh, the uh, diabetic diets also is very good. Obesity diets, we need, we humans, we need a little bit of fat to tell our brain that we have eaten enough. All the diets that they have no fat, you, have, you are the whole, the whole day wanting to eat, wanting to eat. You have never enough, okay? You have immunological system, it's very good for that digestion. Pregnancy and childhood, because of the vitamin E, the vitamin E is a provitamin. The provitamin E, the vitamin E helps you, the body, to absorb the calcium. So for the pregnancy and the childhood, that on the pregnancy, the mama that is taking, the mother that is taking the olive oil, gives a lot of vitamin E to the feto, and the feto will, will have stronger bones, okay? And then after that, after the birth, 
when the, with the mother milk is going to help and it's also been proved that the vitamin E gets concentrated on the breast of the, of the mother. Then the aging process and the, screen, and the skin. But what are the varieties? I will compare to you quite often with uh, fruit juice and with the wine, with both of them, because it's, it's a mix of them. I always say that it's a pity that you cannot get drunk with, uh, with the olive oil. It would be great, okay? It would be better for the industry. But in Spain we have, we will taste four of them today. We have Picualo, Giblán, Carvequina, Cornicabra, Empeltre, Blanqueta, Cacereña, Verdial de Badajoz, up to 260, even more, about 264, more or less. That's all the varieties we have in Spain. These are uh, olives varieties that they can be used. All of them can be used for table olives and for olive oil. But some of them are more suitable for one thing or another, and some of them they can be both share. Denominations of origins. You have a lovely, this one you will see later, you have a lovely piece of paper in front of you. There is this one here. Okay, you will open later on, and you have all the denominations of origin of olive oil in Spain. It's wonderful.